God bless my brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to my channel. And my name is Linda and the Lord uses me in the prophetic as I have a prophetic gift and I give God all the glory and all the things for using me as his special instrument. So today's word it is a prophetic word. Um, the Lord gave me a prophetic dream and it's uh, for kingdom marriages. So small disclaimer, please take this word up to God and to see if this word is for you. This word may be for some. Um, this word is specifically for those who are, they know they're they're in their season of marriage and they have their confirmation that they are in, indeed in their season of marriage. If you do not know if you are if you are or not in your season of marriage, please pray and ask the Lord to confirm to you. And he will because he confirmed to me as well when I did ask the Lord and he did confirm that I was. And so the Lord will confirm to you. So seek, seek the Lord, um, spend time with God, and he will confirm to you if indeed you are in your season. If not, it's okay. <laughs> your The times and seasons are in the hands of the Lord. So in this dream, I had it July 5th, which is was this week, uh, July 5th, 2022 on Tuesday. So in the dream, I was like driving around in a car and, um, sorry driving around and I end up in this like flea market shop where they had different stores so I'm inside this shopping store and I'm just looking around and then I just uh, end up in this section and I was looking to see what I will find and all of a sudden I see this pen and on the pen it was um on top of the pen was like a wedding ring and then on top of the wedding ring was I do and I thought it was so weird and so strange that I'm like okay like why am I seeing this I was just like like I just thought it was just so random and so weird and so I left and that was there was more to the dream but that was the point or that's the you know section of the dream that I wanted to talk about so I titled this word I do which is the declaration of consent the consent consent if I'm saying it right <laughs> so the declaration of consent uh, is also known as I do's is when the bride and the groom legally agree to be married so that's what I do mean when um, it's a traditional um, it's a lot of uh, the th um, a traditional ceremony when you get married um, you know there's do you take this bride and you're like yes I do do you take your groom you say yes I do but what it means is just a declaration of consent. You're literally just agree, legally agreeing to be married. Praise the Lord. So God is asking you today, are you going to agree to this union? Are you going to agree to this marriage? Praise God. Are you going to uh, say, give God the permission? So when I look up the definition of consent, consent, it means permission for something to happen. Or agreeing to do something are you out giving consent to God are you giving him the permission to allow God to make this marriage happen you remember two cannot walk together if they're not in the same accord and same agreement so I'm asking you today God is asking you today are will you say I do to his will will you say I do father God to this kingdom marriage praise God despite of what I feel despite of what I'm not seeing despite of the separation despite of if I feel rejected from my kingdom spouse despite if we're not talking do you say I do to God are you giving him permission to do this in your life are you giving him permission to arrange your marriage are you giving god the permission to al allowing him to do it how he fits the how he seems fit in your life praise god so th this is the season um where we are going that's going to be our portion where we're going to come uh, uh, together with our kingdom spouse and we're going to get married and we're going to say i do praise god i do agree to this praise the lord I, we're saying i do even before it happens even before that time of marriage praise the god we're saying i do and I, I saw that it happened unexpectedly as I wasn't expecting to find that. So it's going to happen unexpectedly. It's going to happen when you least expect it. God is going to bring this union together and you're and you're going to be you're going to get married and it's going to happen in a way you don't expect it. I wasn't expecting it. It came out of nowhere. So if that's what's going to happen, it's going to happen out of nowhere, out of the blue. It's going to be unexpectedly. 
praise God for his faithfulness. And the ring, we see that um, the ring also is a powerful way to symbolize your unending commitment to your partner. It is a promise. So God is reminding me of the promise. He's reminding us of the promise that he still has this promise. He hasn't forgotten about this promise. Praise, praise God for his faithfulness. So a lot of us are already telling God, God, um, we give you the permission. When I looked up the word consent, and like I said, it, it, it one of the words, it says permission. We're giving him permission, accord. We're coming to an accord with God. We're, we're coming to agreement with God. We're leaving it in his hands. Praise God. We're giving him the authorization to, to bring this union together, despite of what we feel, despite if we, if we don't probably want this person or we don't want it anymore. Praise God. We're giving him this, uh, we're giving him that confirmation. We're giving him the green light. Father God, go ahead. We're giving him the thumbs up. Go, Father God, do what you need to do. I approve of your will. I'm in favor of your will, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. I, I give you the, the seal of approval. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And God is also reminding us of his promise. He's also reminding us of his of his promise that he has not forgotten about us. Praise the Lord. And this is not about us rushing or or wanting to get married so bad. This is not about this. Praise God. And if you are like that, sisters and brothers, I pray that you take that desire up to the Lord and give it to God. And so, because if not, what will we consume with that? What just marriage, marriage, marriage? No, we are agreeing to the kingdom marriage. We are agreeing to what God is doing in our time and the union that God is bringing forth together. Praise the Lord. We're allowing God to arrange our marriage. We're allowing God to do it in our lives, how he seems fit and how he wants to do it because he is in charge. He is sovereign and he is in charge of our lives. Praise the Lord. So one of the declarations of consent, consent, that I looked up like um, in a, when you get married in the ceremony. So it says, do you groom to be, I'm talking to my grooms, I'm talking to my fellows. Do you grooms to be, welcome your bride as your wife, offering her your love and your encouragement, your trust and respect as together you create your future? What do my groom says? And you can say, I do. <laughs> Comment down below and says, I do, I do. And we're saying, I do even before it happens. Praise God. We're saying, I do even before the Lord brings us together. And when that time comes, you're like, I already said, I do. I already said it. I already said it in my heart. I already said, I do to you. Praise God. I already said, I do to you a long time ago, even before we came together and, and, had, and got married. Praise God. I already said, I do to you to your my kingdom spouse so my brides to be <laughs> now these are for my brides to be do you brides to be welcome your groom as your husband offering him your love and your encouragement your trust your respect as together you create your future what do my bride says I gotta hear it i do i do comment down below and say i do <laughs> You're saying, I do, I welcome my groom, I welcome the spouse that God has shown me, he has confirmed to me that this is my spouse, despite what I feel or what I don't see. I've known people that the Lord revealed to them their spouse and it didn't happen until like three years later. So it, it really all depends. We cannot go off someone else's process and what God did in their lives. Each of our process is different. Praise God. So that may or may not be a portion. It may take less than three years. Who knows? That's what I'm saying. We have to allow the uh, Holy Spirit to guide us because remember our time and season are in the hands of God, not in the hands of men. And they cannot determine when it's going to happen. They cannot determine if it's going to be two or three years. All we know is that we have to remain faithful to the Lord. So my brides to be and my grooms to be, what do we say to the Lord? We say, I do, God. I do take this bride. I do take this groom as my husband. I take this bride as my wife. I, I, I agree to what you're doing. And praise the Lord, this soon will be our portion. It's going to happen unexpectedly. It's going to happen out of nowhere. You're not even going to be expecting it. God is saying, you're not going to expect it. Even though we're expecting it, it's going to happen when you don't, when you least expect it. Praise God. So that's the word that I wanted to bring today to my grooms and brides to be. Praise God. We don't know when this is going to happen. It could be this year, next year. Who knows? Praise the Lord. But all I know is that 
God was showing me that he has not forgotten the promise. God was showing me that this was going to be next. This is going to happen next in my life. This is good. This is going to be what's going to happen next. Praise the Lord. And so he's the one who's guiding my season. He is the one who's guiding me in this process. So I pray and encourage you, my sisters and brothers, that you allow the Holy Spirit to guide you in yours. You allow the Holy Spirit to do as he will. Praise God. And he will guide you and lead you. Praise God. And I just wanted to leave this out here. Uh, my sisters and brothers, if you do feel like you are one, like you feel rushed, like you just want to rush into marriage. This is not about, oh, I want to get married right now. No, it's not about that. We have to learn how to be consent being single. I've made God my husband. I made him my beloved. He is my all. He is my everything. I'm kind of sad, you know, when I, when that, that time comes because I've given God all my time and all my attention in my time of singleness. Praise God. And I, I am consent. In my place of singleness where I love the Lord with all my heart and soul. He is my husband. He is my provider. He is my comforter. He is my friend. So in your time of singleness, make sure that you allow God to be your, your husband. You allow him to be your everything and be content. Be uh, His grace is enough. He is sufficient. He is enough for you. And if you don't feel that way, you have to spend time um, in the word of God and falling in love with him. You have to spend time in the prayer closet with him so you can develop a deeper intimacy bond with the Lord. Praise God and being consent and not wanting to rush this, but allowing God to do it how he wills. And that he's we giving him permission to ordain our marriages. We're giving him permission to do as he wills. Praise the Lord. So uh, my brothers and sisters, my grooms and brides to be, what do you say to the Lord? <laughs> I do. I do, God. I do. I do. Even though I don't understand sometimes, I, I agree to what you're doing. And you have my approval, Father God, in the name of Jesus. God bless my brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope that this word encourages you i hope this word gives encourage you today knowing that the god has not forgotten about your promise praise the lord god bless and have a good day come check out my uh, christian boutique online which is called linda's christian boutique on my on my website you will find uh christian products and christian gifts all personally designed by me you will find mugs hoodies sweatshirts prayer journals phone case and t-shirts you will also find matching mugs with a matching uh, journal or a matching mug with a matching shirt. There's a lot of options for gifts. And I want to thank you in advance for supporting my small business. God bless.